Okay, hi everyone. How's it going? Hi. Great. <laughs> okay, awesome. I wanted to ask you all something that maybe we actually haven't ever formally spoken about, um, but this is something that's really like close to my heart. And uh, you know, we occupy this really sweet third floor office that opens to a lot of gorgeous rain trees. Um, but more importantly, we also occupy this office with amazing women who are from completely different backgrounds from all of us. And I wanted to kind of just get like your thoughts on it, and um, you know, if you worked elsewhere, how is Bear different from your, uh, you know, other places that you worked at, and what makes Bear so special? Because I think our secret sauce is really lies in um, the amazing team that is our manufacturing team. I feel like they are the backbone of our business. There is no products without them, um, and I think to me they just are a little microcosm of. Diversity in India, and uh, yeah, I want to kind of dive in a little deeper. So, who wants to get started? Uh, so, throughout my career, eighty percent of the times I have worked with a female boss or a female found founder, and I have worked really close with them. And uh, uh, I've always been inspired by women at large, uh, be it my mom at home, be it my grand uh, grandmother. Uh, who is not who is like no more with us but still i keep hearing story a lot of stories about her that how resilient she was how strong she was uh and it keeps me going and keeps me uh, inspired and uh, even in my work life i worked with uh, eight, as i said 80% of uh, female founders um and maybe unconsciously that has happened but it has been the best thing that has happened to me throughout my career uh and there is so much that you can learn from a lady who is a uh, you know who is leading so many and championing so many areas of life uh apart from that in bare necessities what makes us makes us so different and unique is the charm that we have the lady luck that we have uh and that's there and it just makes up of so many ladies that come from different walks of life and it is so heartwarming to uh, hear their stories sometimes we just walk into so i work uh, really close with the manu team when it comes to bulk orders and or it comes to market places uh whenever we change something uh, i have to go and inform them and it is never a 2 minute thing i always spend end up spending like 10 minutes there <laughs> because everyone is so chatty they all ask me what did i uh, make for breakfast what did i make for lunch uh and they always share end up sharing their personal stories like something that happened with them and uh, it is so overwhelming and sometimes um, uh when i speak to them i just feel that my problems are so small in front of theirs uh and i just uh, and it is a great motivation for me that if they can uh, despite whatever is going on in their life they are standing sm- uh, strong they are smiling so why can why can't i do that so yeah <laughs> so sharing sanjana you want to go next? Okay, cool. Um, so Bear being my first job, it's a really diverse space. I get to guess to get started with, and um, initially, I w- I won't lie, I was a little intimidated about how to go about talking to our manufacturing team and interacting with them because I speak Kannada pretty decently enough to communicate, but a lot of them also speak in Tamil. But soon I realized with also maybe doing shoots with them and like you know, spending more time in their space, walking in their shoes, and we did like a couple of Women's Day campaigns. where we were trying to get to know them better as people right before we start talking about what they do at bear and i think that really broke the ice for me because it had to it involved me trying to communicate the camera and take off that whole feeling of um i guess being anxious or intimidated by being recorded about your story out of it and just make it seem like you're sharing with me as a person and i will obviously only always communicate what you want me to so feel free to share and that was really good because i felt like i got to know them as people and i'm very grateful to be a part of the same space as them because um like tanya said every time you enter the manufacturing room they're just cackling like it's like they're having the best time every day and it's just like a genuine reminder to just like make the most of every moment because that's what they do and i've noticed it a lot and um they let like really small moments of joy in which i feel like i have trouble doing sometimes so it's been really great to being exposed with that where it's like you know what did you get for lunch today what did you eat and like you know 
what are you going to go home and do and all of that so i think it's really exciting being in the space with them and also interacting with them learning about their stories and i love shooting with them because they just make fun of me and it's like <laughs> it's really fun so and i just wanted to add quickly that uh, for me personally female friendships are the best like they are the best gift that you can ever get uh, and to see them to watch them you know uh, having the time of their life to once they enter the office they all, they just want to be with their friends they just want to take uh, share their household stories um and just it just uh, you know the energy is so free flowing that when we just go into their room we become a part of their friend circle the inner circle and they even treat us like that so that for me is very special since um, uh, i moved to a new city and i don't have many friends so it's just they have become my friends <laughs> so sweet thank you so much for sharing um meena this is for you um since you host a lot of our kind of workshops um our really fun team meetings uh, but also just you know you always kind of think about different topics that we can bring to light um and i know you hosted this amazing menstrual hygiene workshop do you want to tell us a little bit about that and kind of what your experience was um i host workshops like seher said for the entire team but i've crafted some specifically for the manufacturing team uh, one of them was about menstrual hygiene and getting them or convincing them to transition over to sustainable ways of handling their menstruation cycles uh by using a boond cup and there was i, I remember this was one of my first to- few workshops that i was doing at bear and i felt so nervous i remember calling up some of my doctor friends to understand the concepts but it's not like i didn't know it but i was just trying to be as clear as i could as to make it as simple and easily understandable as i could and despite this concept clarity in my head i had this sense of apprehension of oh my god are they going to understand what i'm saying will they feel awkward um how can i bring this up and when i went in there was just such openness and there was such um willingness to hear about this that it put my thought to shame to an extent but i said how can i feel stigmatized when they're being so open about this how can i feel stigmatized about something that happens to all of us and i think that kind of readiness to just uh taken in any information that comes their way um in in knowing that this could benefit them in some ways just uh something that amazed me and uh it it put things into perspective for me too which is that there should be a sense of curiosity always there should be a sense of willingness to learn always and i think that's what kept them in good stead and um there was so much receptiveness to that workshop and i remember at the end of the workshop all of them were sharing tips with each other they were sharing tips with me and you know they said no no i don't think i'll use a a cloth i'll use the a cup instead and oh my god it's going to save me 5 lakh rupees oh amazing i'm going to switch over and at the end of the workshop we also gave them a little boon cup for them to use and we did a follow up workshop after that <clears throat> and a lot of women continued using it so it was really validating to know that experiences like this do have a far reaching impact um you know even if it can make a difference to maybe eight women it counts it still counts so that's been my experience working with the manu team thank you so much and you also did a really cool one on financial literacy which honestly i learned a lot from <laughs> um i mean how how does the gender lens maybe play a role and maybe even um you know you you didn't grow up in india um and this was your first work experience and you went from a huge tech a uh, very cool tech startup um in canada to a very different setup here in bangalore um so can you share a little bit about what that experience was like uh, with the women and maybe um what are things that transcend language barriers location barriers uh, that you found great question <laughs> um i think to start off um the tech startup that i worked for it i don't think it had that um different socioeconomic backgrounds that we all came from we all came from similar backgrounds as a tech startup so everyone came from similar could similar education similar upbringings um of course everyone had challenges of their own but i feel that uh, the moment you join that organization it's just like you're good like you can talk to anyone everyone you're not stressed about anything um about connecting with the team so i think that was um that tech background of mine 
but before that as well have having worked in the hospitality field for a little bit i think there is where i started seeing a little disconnect as well because um i worked across departments in a in a hotel and i realized that housekeeping is dominated by men for instance okay especially for in a hotel i'm not talking about houses but in a hotel um but then what i wasn't a huge fan of is at the reception or the front desk you're putting women right because the idea is not yes of course um they're very good at their jobs and things like that but the generationally society has just been drawn to since women are more attractive than men if you put them out there it might convert more you might uh, men will close more as a sale or whatever right so when i saw that i wanted to be part of the front desk team because i feel like i can talk and be very friendly and stuff but it was obviously there was like dominated by women there right and i know why they were doing that it wasn't like women were necessarily wanting to do that either they wanted to probably grow to become management or whatever else um but they were doing that for a certain reason and they were positioned there for a certain reason so i saw all that um but then coming from canada yes i did see equality in many forms um then when i came here um to be quite honest like i have mad respect for seher um because i just genuinely um did not know how a woman founder can like do everything that she has done in a country uh like india as well because it's very challenging it's very uh unequal in many ways um over so many years and then once i joined this team as well the, every member of the manufacturing team is like i call them my best friend uh, even if they don't consider me their best friend but i call everyone a best friend i smile at every single person my goal is to just genuinely talk to everyone like i would talk to my mom or talk to my uh wife or talk to my friend or whatever right it's like now my tone will never change and i think that's another thing that needs to change in society society where the moment someone is deemed lower than you or your standing automatically the tone you're talking to them in changes you might be rushed you might be shorter sentences whatever it is right but that shouldn't change because they are probably smarter than you for all you know um so i think coming here that helped me a lot because i don't know kannada um i don't know tamil i don't know any any i know hindi but the hindi in yeah anyways <laughs> but let's not get into that but <laughs> but i think um for me it was just about like Uh, bonding with them through smiling through actions through packing with them through um bulk order seasons with them through lunches with them through making them laugh they making me laugh um and any member of the team who has joined or not or left or been here with us um, i think it has just been like the same and now to see people like tabu she literally is like just speaking english she just comes to me and she's like sir i have booked this order and uh, packed it and this is what it looks like and i'm just like wow like at the start she wouldn't speak uh, english she was nervous to speak english so i think that has opened my kind of lens my perspective and also how i work um i also want to add to this that we're talking about the manufacturing team but you guys you four um like of course we're fo- focusing on different socio economic backgrounds so but i want to talk about you guys because you guys are also strong in many ways right like sanjana doing photography right already living in such an unequal society and then choosing a career path that is not the norm yet um is going to is going to be challenging but you sticking to it and doing it is really cool and i really find that inspiring in many ways um tanya the way you are again persistent right when sometimes it um for lack of a better word the procurement teams might have men on the other side or they have or the people we're dealing with are men um and i think we've came to the realization that sometimes women are the better people to deal with when it comes to sustainability or closing um, or talking about uh, gifting or anything because it's just so much more warmth um that comes from that so i thank you for like also making that observation and kind of steering that um so i think uh, you guys all and seher obviously is a women founder who is like r- r- against the odds in many ways of course all the women founders out there are against the odds in many ways um and veena you're just killing it with uh, dealing with logistics which is obviously like male dominated um and then dealing with that getting on calls with that getting some answers through that i think that's huge steps um even if we talk to, i don't want to just talk about our manufacturing team or production team yeah for sure i mean super diverse disciplines 
we've got photography we've got communications we've got um, you know business and tech we've got heritage i mean there's uh, we've got environmental economics we've got formulation um, we've got an engineer uh, so yeah our team is super diverse in uh, you know the educational spaces that we inhabit the socio economic places we inhabit the cultural places that we inhabit um, and i think that's a great segue to also kind of how to logistically diverse we are um, and you know um, i think that's one of our biggest strengths as a e-commerce business <laughs> because there is a pressure to obviously um, always fulfill orders and be accessible um, you know uh, all year round because you know in india being india we have a festival or, <laughs> or some amazing celebration so often um, and we need to get those amazing sustainable gifts out there to everyone um, and whether that is diwali and we have tabu and zainab come in for you know fulfilling orders um, and you know for christmas uh, we have someone else filling in it just ensures that we are also constantly be able to service um, our amazing consumer base and uh, loyal you know community that we've built around low waste living so i think that's also great and i think um, yeah in many ways it reflects a mini india um, to me I, i think it um, i think i am a little harder on the manufacturing team uh, and i may, maybe i'm it's more of a tough love thing but i have seen immense growth i mean um, we also do offer less advertise or talked about but we do offer uh, unsecured loans for all of the women so some have used it for education some of them have used it to purchase houses um some of them have used it to purchase bikes and learn how to ride bikes um so it's been phenomenal someone has even purchased um a house for a parent um many of them have supported um their siblings weddings through uh, you know bare work at bare necessities and um unsecured loan options and things like that from within bare or within bare's network um so i think that's also been really cool and um yeah i think it's i'm just so grateful honestly that we get to inhabit this space with each other and uh, yeah sanjay you want to share any more um just to add to what you were saying about how we're all from different socio economic setups and backgrounds have different experiences i think another thing that bear really enables is kind of democratizing sustainability as something that's not limited to one class of people or one group of people or one gender and that's pretty amazing to be able to do seher so a big round of applause for that i can't clap but yeah so i think i just wanted to share that that i see that happening regularly and like veena said she had like a whole workshop about menstrual cups for the girls and now they know about that so i think i personally believe that it's a big step in sustainability to make it known that this is something that is not class based it's not gender based it's for everybody so Um, that is honestly a really good point and i think that is a perfect episode for our next one <laughs> um on the economics of sustainability i think that we can definitely dive in deeper to that one uh, but thank you so much for your time and thank you for so much for sharing about all of the soft fuzzy things that we don't share often enough um thanks for yeah just inhabiting the space with us and so so grateful for all of you